Today, I give thanks for the Christian Church Disciples of Christ right here in Tennessee. As I look over my tenure, um, six and a half years of being your regional minister, I see that it's directly connected to the call to ministry that I had at the age of six. Yes, I was called into ministry at, at six years old and have been running, um, carrying the gospel in one way, shape or form since that time. And so um, I think ministry being able to serve in ministry, regional ministry on the local level, doing ministry um, in a different kind of context, whether it's mission or chaplaincy, um, however you're doing it, it's a privilege and it's an honor. So much so that I look at my own personal ministry as being one of the greatest gifts that I've ever received. It has blessed me. It has challenged me. It has opened me up. It has delivered me. It has redeemed me. And it has honored me as I paid attention to that call and my ministry. And I'm saying this to you because I'm wondering, have you seen out there anyone who you might ask to consider ministry as a vocation? Church, it is time that we call more and more people into ministry. How are they called into ministry? They're called into ministry by me, by you, by the pastors, um, by friends. Who have you seen that you said there's something about that person? And I want to ask them, have they ever considered ministry? So that's the first thing I want you to do. I want you to look around. Who would you ask to consider ministry as a vocation? So you say, well, Dr. Williams, I've already done that. I have identified the person. I know who they are. I've asked them, have they ever thought about being a minister? Well, then there's another step. I want to invite you to invite them to go talk to the pastor so that the pastor will know that they have this call or this call is germinating or marinating in their minds and in their hearts. And then if they've done that already, invite them to go get further education. Invite them to go to seminary. Invite them to get ready to sit with the commission on ministry that they may be commissioned or ordained so that they can go forth in that call. It's a very critical time in the world today. This is not time for the church to shrink back or, or shrink up, but it's time for us to use our gifts, both ordain, commission, and lay to help heal this fragmented world. The disciples say that we are a movement for wholeness in a fragmented world. Well, it takes conduits to help with this fragmentation, help heal this fragmentation. So who do you see out there that you may ask, would you consider ministry as a vocation? So I'll be praying as we look around to see whom God may place in our paths. The second thing I want to talk to you about are our standing forms. By the end of the month, all clergy, ordained and lay, those with standing, will receive a standing form. I need you to fill that form out, and I need to, for you to make sure that it is back in a regional office by early January for you to have standing for the 2023 year. Next, after we receive it, the Commission on Ministry will look through all of the standing forms. And then in about a four to six week period, you will receive a standing card that gives you the credentials needed to say, I have standing with the Christian Church of Tennessee. Don't worry, we'll make sure that you get your standing card sometime between mid or the end of February, but you have got to have your standing form in. There is a deadline. And this year, because we have so much going on, we're asking you to honor the deadline. If you cannot honor the deadline, we invite you to call us because those who do not honor the deadline, you probably will be in jeopardy of not having standing this year. So we're inviting you once you get that form for you to fill it out and send it back to us so that we may do the due diligence of reading your form, checking over your form and getting your card to you in a timely manner. 
the next thing that I want to talk to us about are directors and counselors. As we prepare for the 2023 camping season, we want to know if you or someone you know will be interested in serving as a director or a counselor. If you are interested, I invite you to call us at the regional office or write us, write Joan to let her know so that we may get the forms out to you so you may be um, able to serve at one of our camps. Here it is. If we don't have the number of directors and counselors um, for our programs, we cannot have the camps. We cannot. We have to be within ratio. So that means that we need approximately one uh, counselor for every five young people. And so if you have considered serving before, but you weren't sure, if you know someone who have gifts and skills to serve, we invite you to give, give us their names so that we can have the number of people needed to make sure that our programs go off without a hitch. We need you out here to come and serve and to help support youth ministries within the Christian Church of Tennessee. So remember, if you are interested in being a director, if you are interested in being a counselor, let us know at the office so that we can help move forward because we look forward to the 2023 camping season. Then the final thing, and, and I'll be done, new church. Y'all, we need to start some new churches in Tennessee. I mean, some dynamic, spirit-filled, uh, mind-blowing uh, churches in Tennessee. I'm looking for people who might want to start a new church. Reverend Dr. Thomas Murray, he's the chair of um, New Church Ministries here in Tennessee. He's the, also the senior pastor of ATOP, Anointed Ten Ten Temple of Praise, Anointed Temple of Praise in Memphis. And this guy is ready to start some new churches. We need some people who might want to serve on the new church team. And we also need some people who, who would say, Dr. Williams, I feel like God is calling me to start a new church. So if that's you, you feel like God is calling you to start a new church, let's talk. Um, if you say, Dr. Williams, I don't feel like God is calling me to start a new church, but here are some names of people who might be willing to start a new church. Give me those names so that Dr. Murray and I and the rest of the team can consider starting new churches. Listen, God is getting ready to do some even greater things within the Christian Church of Tennessee, and it includes you. I always say we need all hands on deck. Don't get stuck on the shoreline watching and spectating. Come on in and be a participant to what God is going to do. Hey, what God is already doing, that includes you. So let's pray. And then I'll send you on your day, your night, or your evening. God, we thank you for the Christian Church of Tennessee. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you from Blountville, Tennessee, all the way down to DeSoto County, Mississippi. God, you are on fire. Fire with your love, your grace, your mercy, your endurance your redemption. God, thank you for connecting us and bringing us together. Not only do we pray for the Christian Church of Tennessee, we pray for our entire denomination from the office of OGMP to our global mission partners all around, all of our siblings and friends. God, you are at work and may you be at work through us. And God, may we always have our eyes open so that we may see the salvation of the Lord not that our eyes would be shut and closed, that we might miss it, but that our hearts, our minds, and our souls are open to that which is to come. God bless you and have a great day.